A governor is facing fierce backlash across state lines over her bold stance on salmon recovery. Oregon's governor sent a letter to our governor this past week urging him to support breaching dams in eastern Washington. Now, Q13 Simone Del Rosario has been following the debate over these dams for years now. So, Simone, why is Oregon's governor speaking out here? Right, our own governor hasn't even made a decision on where he stands in the debate over breaching dams, even though he commissioned a state study on the issue. But Oregon's governor, Kate Brown, is wading into Washington's debate, and it's all about saving orca and salmon. In a letter she wrote to Governor Jay Inslee, she said, The imperilment of southern resident killer whales is a tragedy shared by all of us in the Pacific Northwest, and Oregon stands with you to boldly address those factors contributing to their demise. Saying the science is clear that removing the earthen portions of the four lower Snake River dams is the most certain and robust solution to Snake River salmon and steelhead recovery. Now, the four lower Snake River dams in question, they are squarely in Washington state, not in Oregon. The existence of these hydropower dams, though, and the damage they do to salmon passage, well, that's been debated for decades. The Republicans in Washington who support the dams are outraged that any state official is trying to have a say here. In a joint statement from Washington's three congressional Republicans, they write, Governor Brown's position is not only misguided, it is shocking and extreme. This is yet another example of state officials trying to interfere in the operation of critical federal infrastructure. Adding in Congress, we will wait for the release of the comprehensive federal study of the river system before jumping to conclusions that would devastate our regional economy and local communities, including those in Oregon. Well, the federal study they're talking about is a judge-mandated review of the environmental impact of these dams. We're expecting a draft report of this study to drop any day now, telling us whether federal agencies are going to recommend breaching one or more dams to save salmon and orca. The Army Corps says the draft is going to come by the end of February. So like I said, any day we'll be bringing you that report. But even if they end up recommending that they breach these four dams, I'm told it's going to take an additional study and additional years on top of it to study the specific Snake River issue because this study is looking at the entire Columbia Snake River system. So they would need to have something more specific. So years down the road before any decisions are made on the federal level. Yeah, so pretty strong backlash there. But why do you think Oregon's governor even wanted to get involved and send this letter at this time? Yeah, so Governor Inslee hasn't made a decision yet. He hasn't taken a stance, and perhaps Governor Brown is offering a little bit of support to him, saying, if you go on the side of breaching these dams, I'm going to have your back. You're going to have another Northwest governor who agrees with you on that. What conflicts Governor Inslee on this issue is because it tackles two things he's very passionate about, clean energy and salmon and orca recovery. And those things are kind of going head to head here. These dams provide hydropower to our region. It would cost hundreds of millions of dollars to replace the energy that is provided by these dams. But at the same time, they have been shown to be detrimental to fish passage. Mm -hmm. And even though the federal government's poured in billions of dollars to try to improve that, they haven't gotten the results they've wanted.